But how do you love? I want to know more about the message. You, what What is the message from this this single? So, what is the message you want to deliver to your listeners? If you're falling for someone and you really want to get to know someone, you know, the full way. So you kind of just like you know try to figure them out. Can you guys have a tips or maybe a tricks for our listeners to how to figure out love? So yeah, 98.6 Alfa FM, your inspiration. Alfren, kali ini barengan sama Nisha. Nisha udah balik untuk, ya, yeah, untuk nemenin kamu lagi nih Alfren. Dan kali ini Nisha akan menginterview, ya, yeah, seseorang, bukan seseorang, tapi ya, yeah, musisi yang luar biasa banget. Gak cuma terdiri satu member aja, tapi ada beberapa member dan mereka punya hit-hit single yang pastinya luar biasa banget dan kamu juga pasti udah pernah denger nih Alfren. So please welcome Cheat Codes. Woo, what's up? Hello, How you hello. doing? How's it going? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Chitko. How are you? We're doing good. We're just working on some music right now. I'm just in the studio. All right. So, what time's in in your area now? It's like it's seven seven o'clock, seven p.m. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's about 10 a.m. in Indonesia, right? It's like um oh, traveling right. the time. <laughs> yeah, love it. Wow, you guys look good. And so, yeah, it's great to see you. And so, how's life? Is it good? How's your yeah. life, man? Yeah, life's great. You know, just out here in California, it's great weather. It's starting to get a little chilly, but uh, mm-hmm. can't complain. Yeah. Oh, so you guys are in California, right? Yep, we are. Sunny LA. All right. So, by the way, congratulations for your newest album, Hell Razors Part 2. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Congratulations, and also the newest single, How Do You Love. Wow, it's it, it's a good one. So, how does it feel when you guys release the new album and also the single? You know, it feels great. It's, uh, it's like a body of work that we worked on uh, during the lockdown, mm-hmm. and we had a lot of time on our hands. We couldn't you know, go out, uh, we couldn't play any shows, so we just locked ourselves in the studio and made a bunch of music, mm-hmm. and a lot of it a little bit more emotional lyrics and vibes than what we normally do because it just didn't feel right to do a bunch of like happy dance records mm-hmm. um so you know we want to put out something different and we also have a lot of vocals with princess rosie he's in the group cheat code he's not on right now but um so that was cool as well that we could put a lot of our own vocals and also collab with some mm-hmm. people we've been listening to since we were kids like uh, Tyson from All American Rejects mm-hmm. and Ollie Sykes from Bring Me the Horizon and uh, Travis Barker from Blink-182. So these are guys that we kind of grew up listening to. So it's really cool to, to work with them on this this project. Oh, oh it, it sounds cool. But before we talk deep more about your single and also your album, can we play some games, uh, a simple game? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so you guys, can you describe cheat codes in just three words? So cheat code is A, B, C. Oh. Um, cheat codes <laughs> is fun, energetic, and mm-hmm. crazy. Um, cheat codes, it's always evolving, so you know, evolving is a good word. Um, I would say, uh, you said fun, and energetic. That's those are good words. <laughs> um, mine would be, did you say upbeat? Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to use up and uh, euphoric. Euphoric is good. And oh. Upbeat kind of system. All yeah, right. Cool. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, so if I'm not mistaken, it's 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 about almost six years, right? Um, After you debuted, am I right? Yeah, I guess our first song that we uh, released was in 2015. So yeah, six years. It's been a long mm-hmm. time, man. Oh, it's We're been a long old. time. It's about six years. And is there any differences between your debut era and with with your recently era, your newest song? Um, I, I guess as far as, as far as sonically, yeah. I mean, uh, the style of music that we make is always changing. But as far as like the mentality and, and like how we make music is pretty much the same. As far as like we always have, all, we've always wanted to be able to make different styles of music and. Go from country to hip hop to pop to alternative to whatever. So 
that's always kind of been the goal. So we kind of had the same mindset that we've always had as far as just staying busy with writing and producing and just making songs in a million different ways, but, you know, whatever makes the song better. And uh, um, yeah, but, you know, it's cool being able to work with uh, country artists, it's something that we haven't done before. And, you know, really cool to be able to work with alternative, you know, pop punk artists that we grew up listening to. And um, it's always just, it's cool experimenting with uh, different genres and different artists and pushing uh, the envelope and pushing what we uh, are used to doing. Okay, uh, so uh, we're, we're going to talking about your your newest release. It's a uh, Hellraiser's Part Two. Um, you guys release on October. So while you already released Hellraiser Part One on May, so so why you guys release it on October while you guys release it the Part One on May? Because we're just keeping them coming, you know, can't stop, won't stop. Um, back to what Matt was saying, you know, back when we were doing back in the uh, mm-hmm. quarantine, we were able to. We were able to make so much music that okay. we just uh, we don't want it to just sit on hard drives. You know what I mean? We want to we want to release it. We want people to hear it. And it's one of those things where I know a lot of people are like, well, you know, 12 or 10 to 12 songs is the typical album length. But for us, um, you know, because there's three of us and we all write and produce and make different styles of music, it's one of those things where we can release more music than other producers might be able to um, if there's just one of them. You know? Um, so uh, yeah, that's sort of the idea. And we have part three coming. Uh, Pretty, pretty soon as well, which is going to be a lot of dance music, um, back to the roots of just releasing a lot of dance songs, which we're really, really excited about. There's going to be like 15 to 20 songs on the part three. So um, we're just uh, always wanting to do release a lot of music. Okay. So did you find any difficulties maybe in the production process beside of the pandemic? Um, what, what, what did we find hard about the production? Yes, process, yes. Yes, yes. Um, we, I mean, as far as like, to us, it seemed easier than usual because we were at, we were at home, you know, mm-hmm. wouldn't you think? Yeah, I, I would say the challenge was when you're making a body of work, you're trying to make something sound cohesive versus just, you're like, you know, if you're doing singles, it's just you song and you're just like, okay, on to the next one, like whatever happens. Oh, look who it is, it's Princess Rosie, who has his vocals on part two of Hell. Hey, what up, Kev? Hi. Hi, welcome. How are you? All right. So, we are to- uh, we are talking about um, the difficulties or maybe the hard things you find on the di- on, on the production process. So, you can go on again. How about the production process? Uh, yeah, I was I was just saying that when you're making a body of work, you got to make sure every song is cohesive. You know, versus when you're doing singles, you can kind of just make a, a really catchy song and just be like, cool, on to the next one. So this one, we wanted to tell more of a story and, you know, the lyrics are a little bit more personal. And we got Princess Rosie on a lot of the books as well. So, um, yeah, we're excited about it. It's more a little bit more creative for us, more, more of an artistic expression, I would say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, after Hellraiser's Part Two is released, you also released a new single. It's it's called How Do You Love. So, is this a spoiler for Hellraiser Part Three, or what is How Do You Love? Um, how I mean, How Do You Love is sort of a, a branch off of Hellraiser. It's something different than you know the three part album. It's more of a single, a standalone single of something that we're. Mm-hmm. doing um as well as hellraisers we're working on a uh, sort of a country album so like i said before that we're always trying to we're always trying to release a lot of music and release different types of music and so um after we finished hellraisers you know part one two and three we kind of wanted to dive in on some country stuff so we've been working with some really really talented artists and uh, people like lee bryson and dl and um a few other people that we can't you know tell you about yet but um uh yeah so we're really excited to be able to do stuff like that as well so working on the country album or country EP, we're gonna see how many songs mm-hmm. there are for that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that'll be something that we're gonna explore after the rest of Hellraisers comes out. So, just wait until Hellraiser Part 3 comes out, and then we're gonna drop some more of these country songs. So, how, how do you wow. love sort of the intro, you know? Or maybe, how do you love it's a country era for cheat codes, or am I right? Yeah, exactly. yeah, it's sort of the start of a, a sort of a country vibe that we're going to release for a little bit which will be really cool so we're stoked 
So we're gonna talking about how do you love on this song? You have a collaboration with Lee Bryce and also Lindsay L. So how does that? So how does it start it? How you guys unite? Yeah, man. Yeah, we kind of just we had the idea for the song. Uh, we're working on with our friend and Saint, and we didn't know it was gonna be like a country mm-hmm. vibe at first. I had the idea of of making it like a country thing. So we started sending it around and Lee Bryce is just, he's kind of huge in the country world right now. He has like a number one song on country radio right now. So we reached out to him and he was down to do it. And then we got Lindsay L um, on the second verse. And mm-hmm. she also is an amazing guitar player. She just shreds it on electric guitar. So she whipped up the, there's a cool guitar solo at the end of the song that she shredded on. So it came together really cool and definitely Um, we needed everybody to work together to make it what it was because we're not re- we're not like uh, you know seasoned country artists by any means. So we kind of put our pop sensibility in it, and they put their country vibe in it. All right. So um, you guys are in California. So how about you, Kev? Are you in California too, or where are you now? Or oh, you do, Kev? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm in, I'm in California. I'm in Hollywood right now. Oh, right, all right. West Coast. Okay. He's a star. <laughs> yup. Yup. All right, so we're gonna talking more about how do you love. I want to know more about the message. You, what What is the message from this this single? So what is the message you want to deliver to your listeners? What do you think, Rosie? <laughs> oh, man, I think this one is kind of like, you know, when you... Uh, When you're falling for someone and you really want to get to know someone, you know, the full way. So you kind of just like, you know, try to figure them out. Okay, try to figure it. Oh, so can you guys have a tips or maybe a tricks for our listeners to how to figure out love? Um, Ooh, buy strange. flowers for them. Yeah, that's always good. If they like it, you know, yeah, see if they like the flowers. If they don't like the flowers, maybe they don't like love. Yeah. Okay, flowers is love, uh, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so it's still on the November of 2021. So we still have one month ahead in this year. So what is the project in this year? What is you guys project? Um, what, do you, project. what does that mean? Oh, I see. Um, as far as like... What what's our what are our goals right now or like what do we what, 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 what are we what are we what you guys prepared? Oh, what are we preparing? I mean, I guess we're we're definitely preparing to release our mm-hmm. um, uh, the third part of our album, which we're really excited about. So part three, um, mm-hmm. starting to release at the beginning of the year, which we're really really excited about. We're gonna start releasing singles from that um, starting in January. Um, so that'll be really cool. And then um, starting in January, we're also starting our tour. So that'll be really cool. Um, so before the end of the year, we're just trying to get ready for those things, I guess. You know, um, over the next month, we're just trying to get the tour ready, um, the live set. Like right now, we're working on the live set, making sure it's coming together, um, and just preparing to release the third part of the album. So yeah, okay. stay busy. So you guys, do you still remember the last time you come into Indonesia? Are you still remember the time? Of yeah. course, yeah. Isn't there? Very oh. fun. Okay, so maybe someday you can come to Malang. It's it's our city. It's my city, right? Maybe you guys know Indonesia is Jakarta and Bali, and you guys right. can also come to Malang, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, bring. We we love to come through. Okay. Okay. So for the last questions, can you guys please promote your newest single and also your album to our listener? We call it Alfred. Yeah, of course. What, what was the last part? Alfren. Oh, is that the radio? That's the radio company, right? Yes, yes. All right, Alfren. Okay, cool. Um, sweet. Uh, what up, guys? We are Cheat Codes. Thank you all so much for listening. And make sure to check out our album, Hellraiser Part 3, and our new single, How Do You Love, with Lee Price and Lindsay L. Um, much love, Alfren. Thank you, guys. Okay, so, Cap, do you want to add some word, maybe? <laughs> Or Matt? You can, you can, <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, like Trevor said, you know, go stream How Do You Love right now. Listen to it. Play it on repeat. 
uh, we hope you guys are having a good end of 2021. Party hard. Tell them that story about the stars. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, if you look up in the stars and you count to 10 and you see 10 of them and you throw those stars in a bag, what do you have? You have a sausage. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, I don't think I followed that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like people that like meat, I guess. Yeah. Meat. <laughs> okay, so Matt, you want to add some word to our listener? Yeah, I was just going to say we love our Indonesian fans and can't wait to come back. And, and when everything's fully opened up, we'll come and play some shows for you guys and just go all over Indonesia. Can't okay. wait. Thank you so I can't wait to. So, thank you so much, Chit Coats. Thank you for having me. Have a very good day. Have a very good life. And hope you success in your album, Hellraiser Part 3. And also, can't wait you guys to come to Indonesia. Thank you thank so you much. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much for having me. So, can we have can we take a picture yeah, yeah of course together all right so guys okay so can i count it down so three two one all right thank you so much thank you so much have a good day yeah, no problem. thank you for having me stay healthy and stay happy right yeah, yeah exactly. love and thank okay thank you so much goodbye I just wanna learn to give you enough. Tell me how do you love? Tell me how do you love? Ooh, baby, I just wanna learn to give you enough.